<coughs> okay, <coughs> for an element to change to a different element, it must change its number of protons. The defining thing for an element is the number of protons, the atomic number, okay? So, in chemical reactions, the number of protons in an atom doesn't change. In nuclear reactions, yeah, okay? Which statement about radioisotopes is false? Radioisotopes have unstable nuclei. That's true. Some elements exist only as radioisotopes. I think it's true. All elements have one or more radioisotopes. And radioisotopes contribute to background radiation. That is true, so the false is C. Because I don't think that hydrogen has an radioisotope. Radioactive elements include radium, uranium, polonium, all of the above. Okay? So don't ever get near to radium, uranium, or polonium. You get sick. When, do you know the Fukushima accident and the other one? How was? I'm so old that I don't remember. I'm gonna show you, okay? Chernobyl accident. Yeah. So, there was this man trying to take the radioactive things out of the nuclear central and they were like with uh, lead, uh, it was lead. Because it's the only thing that can stop radiation from spreading. And they got in like one minute to get in the central to get something from there. Get it out one minute. They take out the lead uh, suit or whatever they were. And the, the hair was falling out of their heads. Then in one year cancer, five years die. Okay? That's the thing about radioactivity. So, elements with more than 92 protons are a source of radiation in rocks, too unstable to exist in nature. The least radioactive elements, the only radioactive elements. What do you think? I don't know. If I don't know something, what do I do? Look it up. They are transuranic elements. These elements are man-made. Okay, so you cannot find them in nature. Too unstable to exist in nature. Okay, because they're man-made. Or women-made, depends. Sources of background radiation include medical X-rays in a tiny amount, yeah, cosmic rays, the ones that turn uh, the rich, richest family to the Fantastic Four was cosmic, cosmic rays, two, and nuclear power plants, two, okay? So background radiation could be all of the above. But medical X-rays, just a tiny amount, and nuclear power plants, too. The main uh, source of background radiation is cosmic rays, okay? I, I would say B rather than D, because these are so small. Just change it to B, okay? Because these are, these are so small that I don't think they're, they're background radiation. B better than D, okay? Six, uranium can leave an image of an, on a photographic plate because uranium gives off X-rays, absorbs the light, emits light rays, and radioactive. Uranium gives off X-rays, okay? So your, your exposition to X-rays should be limited, okay? Okay, radioactive gas that forms in rocks underground is radon, okay? Radon. 
1D radon. 2 scientists to discover radioactivity. Who was? Becquerel or Marie Curie? Sure? So Marie Curie discovered polonium and radium, and she died. And who discovered radioactivity was Becquerel. Okay? Europeans, you like to know. Ability... No. One would be D, two would be F, and six would be G. Okay? Three, ability of an atomic nucleus to give off charged particles and energy. The ability is radioactivity, okay? So three should be C. Four, low level of radiation that occurs naturally in the environment. That is Background, background radiation, radioactivity is three, the ability of an atomic nucleus to give off charged particles. Yeah. So, low level of radiation that occurs naturally in the environment is background radiation. Five, charged particles and energy emitted by an unstable nucleus. Radiation, A. And seven, six was Marie Curie. And seven atom with an unstable nucleus that emits radiation is a radioisotope. Okay? E. Again, one is D, two is F, three is C, four is B, five is A, six is G and 7 is E. Okay. Fine. Can I go on? Yeah. This one. The last one. One. An isotope. It's a substance with a unique number of protons in the nuclear of its atoms. Isotope. Becquerel was experimenting with the element, I don't know, when he discovered that it is radioactive. Uranium, okay, uranium. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that define the number of neutrons. Can you write it? Neutrons. Four. And it's a device that is used to detect radiation. A uh, Jager, I don't know how to say it, Jager counter. Jager counter, okay? It's like uh, something that if you haven't seen any movie, when somebody searching for radiation goes with something in their hand, they say, pip, 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 pip.
Yeah, cancer. Radiation is used to diagnose and treat cancer. That's why people sometimes lose their hair and because radiation is bad for something and good for something. It kills your cancer, but it kills you at some extent. The, reactive, the radioactive isotope of carbon is named? Carbon-14. Carbon-14, okay? And in elements with more than 92 protons, so the isotopes are radioactive. Okay? What? No, the, this, no, you don't have to do that. Just this one. 